Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Abu Andrew now. I am now officially a Muslim. You are born a Muslim. Others make you other things. If it's the last true religion on the planet, then it has to be the correct one. If you will tolerate everything, then you stand for nothing. And this is the reason why many people find it in their hearts to come to the path of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of the teachings have been distorted because Allah willed it. And it's not only the last religion, it's the first religion. There never was any other religion than Islam. That's why you are born a Muslim. The sun is Muslim, the moon is Muslim, the stars are Muslim, the earth is Muslim, all the animals are Muslim. This is the nature of Allah. It's your nature. You're born in it. Other people teach you other things. Now, everyone who talks about Islam does not know what it is. They speak from their ego and their own understanding. We are human. Only Allah knows what is Islam. People don't stand up and openly disrespect Islam because they're afraid. So, once again, if you don't have rule systems and doctrines and beliefs and prophets, which people are afraid to mock, are you even a religion? Society starts at the smallest possible group. You have family. Many people find shelter and comfort in Islam because of the law, Sharia, not being changed. It's not changed because it's protected by the angels. And this is something that Brother Tate is lifting here. And uh, it is a very deep thing for the soul to feel this comfort that there is a law that is not changed by the ego of man. Families and families make a street and that street makes a village and that village makes a town, that town makes a city and that city makes a country. So if it's broken at the very fundamental level, if it's family level's broken, then it's broken the whole way up. Yep, yep. And that's what's happened in the West. And the first world Islamic countries have none of those problems. So if you're going to talk about a belief system that fixes issues, you need to go to Islam. If correctly practiced, yes, Islam iman ihsan. But look at the Muslim world, they are fighting, and this is because of Wahhabi doctrine. Now the Wahhabi stuff comes, the rational believer channel. You cannot be rational and believer at the same time because it believe, Iman comes from the heart. I make this short response video because a lot of Wahhabis and Salafis are going to claim Andrew Tate like their own. Andrew Tate accepted Islam, meaning Andrew Tate accept us as his superiors. They accept us Arabs to tell him how to live his life. No. Islam is between you and Allah. Andrew Tate's deen is between him and Allah. This is a subject matter between him and Allah. Everyone is born a Muslim. The one who will say Shahada during his life, this is predestined. There is nothing I can do to it. I cannot convert anyone. Mufti Men cannot convert anyone. It's not Mufti Men who does that. It's not Zakir Naik or any Sufi Sheikh. It's Allah who comes from within and Allah who wants you back to his path. If Allah wants it for you, it's going to happen in your life. It will be easy for you to take the Shahada. If Allah wants it for you, it's already predestined in Qadr. It's, it's decided before you're born. So Andrew Tate did not convert. He just went back to what Allah always wanted for him. He just rediscovered it within himself. It's between him and Allah. Assalamu alaikum.